So here we are, another rainy day test of my uh, rain shield. I've made some modifications since the uh, last video. I've changed the mounting underneath here. So these two mounts are different than before. Um, why did I do that? Because I like this mount, it secures the camera better. And this mount puts the same Manfrotto 501 plate underneath here so I can slide the camera on and off. Interchangeability of parts. So I could put all of my other cameras here with the Manfrotto 501 plate on this tripod also. You may have noticed I put this towel over the aluminum cover and uh, that's mainly to see what it does for the raindrops hitting it. it may make it sound better. Um, it does nothing for the waterproofing. So uh, while I'm out here I might as well point out that I've got my yellow lines and uh, my numbers for my parking space is painted. That happened last Wednesday. So you can see here I am. I don't know how close I have to be for you to hear me. But here's the old camera pointing at camera trick. You can see how I've got my towel to muffle the raindrops and I did change the construction of the area underneath it's more of a pocket but I put this towel here also just to prevent some of the splash up so this really is working well the camera in here is nice and dry Not getting any raindrops on it at all. Yeah, that's my forerunner in the rain. And of course the uh, pan mechanism still works here. So I can pan over to my GMC and then my uh, neighbor's car, the limousine. He's a limo driver. He goes back and forth to the airport. And on the end there, you can see um, that space is empty because that's where my uh, wife parks. And she's out getting her hair done right now. I know, bad hair day with, uh, with it raining, but whatever. So here I could uh, unlock the pan and uh, do a pan. You can see how smooth and nice this is. I can feel it with my fingers here. I mean, literally, just a, just a very soft touch to how balanced this rig is, just to make it pan. I mean, just one finger movement here. So I'm really liking how this rig pans and tilts because the camera mass or the mass of the whole rig is really, I don't know if it's perfect, but very well centered on the tripod. So yeah, once again with the painting of the yellow lines, 
the uh, road construction project is complete here. This project took about three months. It started about three months ago in March and uh, it finished a few days ago when they uh, painted the lines here on the asphalt. Just a quick shot of some lilies I have blooming. Sue and I planted these flowers about 30 years ago and they come up every year. These tiger lilies I think they called always come out first, the orange ones. But then above them is a batch of white ones. These will open up about a week or so after the the orange ones and they will be nice big white lilies flowers. So it's the season. They may be a little bit late. I think they always open in June and it's the end of June now so the season is what the season is. So now I'm testing my rig in my uh, forest preserve here. You can almost call this my private forest preserve because it pretty much is in front of my house. And it gets pretty thick in here. I usually have to uh, cut away a path. Just doing a little pan. A little tilt. Hi, here I am, standing in the forest in the rain. Uh, so typical me, I guess you can say. Also typical me, with uh, there you go. Typical me, with many cameras. So. You can see my rig in the forest, in the rain. So hi, it's Jeff here. Yes, it is raining. I'm in my private forest. 
It's uh, June 2022, it's Saturday. And uh, you can guess I'm self-entertaining here just by playing with the cameras and standing out here in the rain. Because uh, video in the rain like this was the whole point of making this camera rig. And uh, really, it's working quite well. Yep, video in the rain is the whole point of this rig. And uh, I'm saying, or I know, it, all the effort I put into it is well worth it because it's working very well. It's, it's outstanding. So I was just standing inside the uh, woods here. If I zoom in a little. Maybe pan up. You can see into the woods there where I was. It's hard to see, but that's the actual entrance there in through the brush. Every year, usually in July, probably next week, I'll cut that opening because uh, the brush just grows. And uh, right about that time of the year, the growth stops. So if I cut an opening, it'll stay for the rest of the year. I'm just speaking normally and it's interesting or will be interesting to hear my voice pick up. It looks like it's the camera's picking up my voice very well, but we'll just have to wait until I develop the film, so to say, and see how this is turning out. It's still raining now, so I'm not sure if you're hearing the raindrops hitting the, uh, the camera hood or the rain shield. doesn't look like it, but again, I'll have to get inside and listen. You can kind of see the extent of the woods. The mini forest that I have here. It's actually great. So much better than uh, looking out over the woods is so much better than having a street view and seeing the cars go by. And uh, it's kind of quiet back here. Hi. We're looking at the underside of my uh, covered camera rig here. And uh, I mentioned when I was out filming in the rain I changed the plate down here to a Manfrotto 501 style. Okay, you can see that here. I got the two screws here to keep it from twisting. Okay, give any camera thing the opportunity to twist and it will. I've learned that many, many times. And if you can see in here, I've also changed this rig here from the small rig to a Manfrotto 501 style um, clamp here also. So this is where the camera would slide into is to this clamp here. Um, I changed out the other one from small rig because this one here has a much firmer and stronger grip 
than the one from small rig okay and uh, last thing I want is my camera falling out while I'm using it and this one's also got the anti-slide stops if you can see them yeah this pin here this keeps the 501 plate from sliding all the way out unless you see how this moves out of the way unless the pin release is pushed here so here's my uh, new mounts again the Manfrotto 501 plate and the new stronger Manfrotto 501 clamp here okay that's the modifications up front here you can see I've changed that uh, that big plate I had here to some smaller um, crossbars what I did just a little while ago was I just simply binder clamped a rag over these for the rain same thing like I did for this hood I just clamped a rag over it 